you're all really, really well. I hope you're lovely and cozy. And oh my God, happy Halloween weekend. Um, hopefully you guys are going to be watching this on actual Halloween. Me and Jamie just thought it'd be really nice for you all to join us on our little date night tonight. Now we were actually meant to be having this little Halloween date night tomorrow on actual Halloween, but I just really wanted you to like see it on Halloween. Um, I don't know, I thought it'd be nice for you to have something to watch in case you don't have any plans this Halloween and I'm gonna be honest, like I don't usually ever make plans for Halloween. Um, like it's usually just kind of like another day, but this year I really just wanted to, I don't know, make the most of every kind of occasion that there is. Just do something special and just join in with the festivities. So the plan for tonight is, it's currently four o'clock and it's just about to start getting dark. I love this time of day. Today just feels so Christmassy. I've been feeling like this for the past few days where I wake up and I have that like, sick feeling of excitement because I just love this time of year so much. I think October, November and December are the most exciting months. Feeling so happy today. Just feel really festive and really excited to have you guys with us tonight as well. I think it'll be a really nice, just cozy evening. So the plan is, Jamie will be home shortly, then we are gonna carve some pumpkins. We've never carved pumpkins together, um, which I'm really looking forward to. I don't think I even did a pumpkin last year, which is actually really, really sad. I think because things were just kind of different last year, um, we didn't actually get around to doing it, but it used to be so fun and Dad used to always make actual pumpkin carving tools, like he used to make them and he used to put so much planning into carving his pumpkin. I remember he would plan it for weeks in advance and he would draw out like a stencil and he used to take his pumpkin carving very seriously. So I have been on Pinterest today and I found a few that I would really, really like to do. So I'm excited to carve a pumpkin. I'm also going to as well, with the pumpkin seeds, I'm gonna roast them. Um, I've never actually done this and I've seen other people do it and I'm like that's such a good idea because it saves you wasting the pumpkin seeds and they're also like really good for you so I thought that could be a cute little like healthy snack and then I'm gonna make some mulled wine because I've been craving mulled wine for so long now I got addicted to it last Christmas and I was drinking it like every single night it was just so yummy and it's so festive and it's just such a yummy cozy drink to have so I'm gonna make some mulled wine tonight um, and then you may have seen in my last vlog, which I posted on Wednesday, but I took a little trip to M&S and bought loads of yummy Halloween food. We're going to be having quite the Halloween feast. Um, we've got so much food. I've literally been saving myself all day because I wanted to just be like super hungry tonight and just really enjoy the food. So we're going to be having a Halloween feast and then... I'm hoping Netflix have got some new, like, Halloween-y films. I did see the other day at the top of Netflix, you know where it has the new in bit? I did see a scary one on there, so I'm hoping that one will be ready to watch tonight. But, yeah, I feel really excited. I've never, like, made a big deal out of Halloween, and I don't know, I just feel... I feel really excited for a little date night. But as I mentioned in Wednesday's vlog, um, there's gonna be a double upload this weekend. Now, this wasn't actually a planned video. I'd actually already recorded a video that was meant to go live um, today, which will be Saturday for you guys. That video will now be going live on Wednesday. And there will still be an upload tomorrow on Sunday. And yeah, I just thought this would be a really nice, like last autumn video. And then as of tomorrow, we can get fully in the Christmas spirit, but I just kind of wanted to like enjoy Halloween. So we're gonna film this tonight and then I'm gonna stay up really late tonight and get this edited so you guys can see it tomorrow. So it is time to pop a tea light in your freshly carved pumpkin, make yourself a spooky hot chocolate or oh, M&S actually have this juice which is called Dracula's blood so if you want to feel super spooky you could drink some Dracula's blood make sure you're cozy and I really really hope you enjoy our little Halloween date night happy Halloween <laughs> happy Halloween I wish Tilly was that cat that would dress up, but unfortunately she's just not a dressing up kind of gal. So the house is feeling incredibly cozy. I've got about five different types of pumpkin candles currently on the burn. So my house is just smelling like one big pumpkin. I've got heritage pumpkin. I've got pumpkin harvest burning. I've got autumn returns. So yeah, it is smelling absolutely incredible and it feels really cozy. I've also just popped the heating on and 
I said this in my last vlog and so many of you could relate to it, but as soon as like I can smell the heating, it just feels so cozy. So for your mulled wine, it's like the easiest drink ever to make, but it's just the nicest. So I just got any old bottle of red wine. Not really a red wine connoisseur. Um, I'm more of a white wine kind of gal. I never just drink red wine. I actually really don't like it. But with mulled wine, it tastes so much different. And I do pop a little bit of water with this as well, just to kind of like water it down a bit because we all know me, I get drunk from the sniff of wine. Then you will need one large orange cut up into thin slices. You will also need some cinnamon sticks. Um, it kind of depends how cinnamony you like things, but I do usually use about three or four of these because I love the cinnamon. And then I also am gonna use sweetener instead of sugar. You can use either or, but like I just prefer to use sweetener and this one is the natural leaf extract one. And then I'm also going to be using one of these little mulled wine spice packs. You can get these in most supermarkets. I actually got this from Sainsbury's. Um, but I found when making mulled wine a lot last year, it turns out so much nicer if you do use one of these little spice packs as well. It just has so much more flavour. So super... So super easy, all you need to do is slice up your orange and then add all of the ingredients into a saucepan. And I like to have it simmering for about 30 minutes, but I'm probably gonna keep it simmering for about 45 to an hour today. Um, you don't want it to boil, so you literally just want it on the lowest heat that it can possibly go on. And you just want it to kind of like be warm. You don't want it to actually cook. Excited for my first mulled wine of the year. From all things at once Without thinking twice And I knew it would catch up And that we would be the ones Left behind mm. The stories I've been told They never seem to lead my mind mm. And this road that I am on Gotta stay here for some time Carve some pumpkins, my little pumpkin carver He's frantically on Pinterest trying to find something um, I've already been on Pinterest today and I have found my pumpkin that I'm going to carve. So we've got a selection of pumpkins. Also picked these up from M&S, but I didn't realize that this side was the same as this side. So we both have one of like, two sets each. yeah, two sets each. Well, you know what you do? You just, we'll open one and we'll put one away. That's a good idea actually. Um, so in here, there's a little <laughs> scooper to scoop out all of the bits inside your pumpkin. And then there's also these little carving things as well. I'm excited. <clears throat> Cheers everyone. Oh my god, this is so nice. Oh my god, that's so good. I can't drink too much of this though because we all know what happens when I drink wine. It's not a pretty sight. It's really not. This one over there is the one I was to look well. <laughs> I literally did that slur. What? Did you slur for me? I was like, this one over there. I was meant to say. <laughs> I slur. This one here is the one that has to look after me. So, um, luckily, it doesn't happen very, very often. He's slurring as well. <laughs> no, I'm very often. I think we're gonna have to get a big boy knife to cut the top bit off. Big There's boy no blower. chance you're gonna be able to do it with that. I'll do it if you want. I'll do the man's job. Jamie, <coughs> please pass me the wine. Why? Because you're notorious for spilling wine everywhere. So, when I lived in the cottage, this one bought a full glass of red wine up to bed and put it on the bedside table and kicked it off the bed. Kicked it? You With your leg. How? We don't need to go into that, but it was with your leg. <laughs> <laughs> and it literally, red wine is like the devil when it's spilled. It went all up the back wall, all over the bedside tables, all over the carpet, and it was just never removed. So I now have to like supervise his wine. Wow. Oh, I want to keep the pumpkin seeds because I'm going to roast them. 
gonna do this pumpkin. It's from Cinderella. Last year I did, well not last year actually, like years and years ago when I was like 14, I did this one. Um, but my dad helped me with that and he was like literally so good at carving pumpkins. So I'm gonna stick to this one this year because I feel like this one won't be too hard. Right, I need to start drinking mulled wine because I need to be focused. You've already had a sip, it's too late. <laughs> no, it goes downhill from here. It feels like guts. It feels like what? Guts. Guts. Have you felt guts with your bare hands before? <laughs> no. I'd be quite concerned if you had. It's like Wolf Creek when he shovels out all their livers and stuff. If you're looking for some good, um, scary series and films, a few off the top of my head, all of the Purge films, and there's a Purge series also on Amazon Prime, which is unreal. So the Purge films and Purge series, and also the Wolf Creek films and oh, the Wolf yeah. Creek series. There's like two seasons of each, so you can have like a proper binge sesh if you want to tonight, like. Is this gonna be a silent vlog? <laughs> Sorry everyone, I've gotta be quiet whilst I'm drawing, it's like. Sounds like fun. Oh my God, look at Tilly, look at Tilly. You all right, hun? What? What's in there? It's exquisite. Do you know what would have funny? Mm. Have you got any fake blood? No, we're not doing that. If I'm like behind no. there, I'm like, shh, 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 and then go, ah, oh, just blood everywhere. You I'm top sorry. prankster, <laughs> hiding behind. <laughs> 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 Quite hard trying to draw Prince Charming on a pumpkin with a sharpie. Prince Charming is currently the one-legged man with no chin. Dad made this well call one of these and it had like spikes on the end and it would proper like carve it. One. Yeah, he made all of these. What? Really? Knives and stuff. Like he literally, <laughs> when we used to, me and mum and dad always used to do pumpkin carving competitions and he literally used to make all of these with like plastic on the end and he made this really big scoop and it had like a blade on the end so when you went like that it just got it all out. In one foul yeah, scoop. Yeah, it was unreal. <laughs> so I'd just like to give you all a little sneak peek. Can we have a sneak peek of yours? Or would you like to wait until the end? I think you're still gonna have to wait. Oh, okay. somewhere so I've pretty much carved out everything um, if you just do these little faint lines in it as well when you put the candle in it shines through and it looks really really cute wow he's so cool he's gonna look good oh the pumpkin yeah ah. <laughs> so whilst Jamie is finishing off his pumpkin how are you oh, getting on <laughs> can we have a look uh, not yet. okay so whilst Jamie is finishing that I am going to sort out the pumpkin seeds So I've never done this before, but it looked pretty simple online All you need to do is just get all the seeds out of all of this stuff um, Give them a rinse let them dry and then just pop them on a tray and roast them for literally like 10 minutes You have to season them and stuff, but I am gonna dissect these from the flesh Dancing on a wire, reckless lipsy. Um, so I also used some of the butterfly light just to stop them sticking on here. And to season them, I'm gonna use some salt, some garlic granules, and also some pepper. Now I did say to use um paprika, but I can't find any in my um very Unorganized spice oh, I cupboard. Paprika. Did you? Yeah, I took it to work. Had it on, you know. Um, you took the paprika to work. Yeah, because I had it on that um, pasta sandwich that I had. Two things here: pasta sandwich, and I cannot believe you took the paprika. <laughs> I didn't really. 
I was literally so angry. I've got the spices out. I really don't know what else I could put on them. Definitely not chicken seasoning. Um, that would be weird. Maybe some crushed chilies would be nice. Give them a little bit of a kick. Yeah, I'll put some of them with my little collection. Um, what else? What about Cajun seasoning? What would Cajun be like on pumpkin seeds? Hmm. That might be alright. Oh, I don't know though. What's this one? Nando's Peri Peri Salt. I keep hearing in the background is a lot of swear words and oh, I cut out another tooth. Oh, I cut out another tooth. How many teeth have you cut out now? Most of them. <laughs> is he just going to have one peg? I get out the front. Well, luckily, it was only the bottom ones. Pepper, salt, garlic, and crushed chili. So what I'm going to do is pop this over these, and then these literally just need to go in the oven for, I think it says 12 to 15 minutes. I'll pop the actual recipe down below just in case you do fancy making these. But I'm actually really excited. I don't know why I've never done this before. Before Jamie lights his pumpkin, I just need to show you this lighter. Jamie said it looks, what did you say it looks like? Like a cow prod. <laughs> I bought it from Amazon and basically I'm sick of running out of lighters. And this one's like a USB charged one, so it will basically never run out. You just like plug it in and charge it, but look. Hello, Cannon. Thanks, Jamie. There you go. <laughs> How unreal is it? What a strange creation. By that. So then, you literally just pop it over the wick and it creates fire. Wow. Oh my God. Oh my God. Look at the teeth on yours. Unreal. It's actually so good. How cute are they? Looks a bit like James Argent, doesn't it? Hey. Arch from Towie. <laughs> yeah, it does. These actually bring me so much happiness looking at these little pumpkins. Do you know what? Mine's actually turned out better than I thought it would, to be fair. It's really, really good. Like pumpkin it. seeds are looking ready. Wow. My first ever roasted pumpkin seeds. Exciting. So what I'm going to do with these is I'm going to let these cool. Um, and then I'm going to pop them just in a little jar. And I can have like a few every single day. I really want to try one. Jamie, do you want to try pumpkin seed with me? Oh, yes, please. Pumpkin seed testing. It's pumpkin season. I don't know how hot they're going to be. They feel pretty hot. Are they not boiling? I thought they were going to be disgusting, I'm not going to lie. They're really nice. They're like, um... It's grey, them little grey boxes. Yeah, they are. What season is it? Garlic. Crushed chilies, salt and pepper. They're nice. You're nice. You're drunk. I'm not drunk. Don't make me breathalyze you. Oh wow. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty full. <laughs> Jamie's getting nervy. Jamie's having a nervy bee that. Have you got a headband? Not a headband, a hairband. A hair bobble. What, what for, Jamie? Just so I'm going to hold it out. What, in case I'm sick? So I can just put it in the elastic and just be like, go ahead, Jamie. <laughs> Hands free. Yeah. Hands free, drunk Gemma. Go on, Gemma. Yeah. <laughs> As it's Halloween, the scene from The Exorcist. <laughs> Everywhere. Right, so for dinner, I'm just gonna stop eating those now because I wanna be super hungry <laughs> for the feast that we've actually got. We've got so much food. So, so tonight's feast consists of all this food. So you would have seen in Wednesday's vlog that I went to M&S and found these cute little Halloween food bits, which I was so happy about because I didn't even know that they did these. So we have got a bubbling cheese cauldron, haunted halloumi kebabs, chicken monster munchies, ghostly chicken goujons so i'm gonna cook all of those in the oven i think these ones need to be grilled um and then i also got cheese board stuff so i got some grapes some strawberries some apples and then some figs do you know what i've never ever tried a fresh fig up until last week me and jamie went to a spa and i had like a fresh fig at lunch and it was honestly so yummy so i found these in sainsbury's 
and I also thought these would look really pretty on the cheese board. Then I also picked up just a few of these little bowls from Sainsbury's because I don't actually have any little mini ones um, and I was going to cut up some pepper and some cucumber and pop those in there as just like some little something healthy to add to uh, this very beige beige looking platter and then I also got some little ham slices I love this ham so much um, goes really really nicely with cheese got some brie because brie is life my favourite cheese ever and then I also got some I thought this was called tiger. Did you know tiger bread is now called giraffe bread? Tilly and Jamie just having a moment over there. <laughs> Look, tiger bread is now called giraffe bread. I mean, that's just different stuff, Gemma. Oh, do you think? Of course it is. Look, it's got a different like pattern on it. Okay, so we've got some giraffe bread. <laughs> and then also some crackers. Three, two, one. Let the feast commence. our halloween feast oh my god this bubbling cheese when you first get this out the oven sounds incredible hopefully you got to hear it but i'm so excited to eat this so to go with our bubbling cauldron i love the little pot as well i think that's so cool we have got some little cucumbers and peppers then i've cut up some giraffe bread i wanted to say tiger bread then but this is giraffe bread and then we've also got just like a little selection of crackers over here which we can have with the brie as well then on our main cheese board we have got the parma ham strawberries grapes how cute do the little figs look i literally feel like i should have always put these on a cheese board they look like an illustration they're so perfectly curved so here we have our cheese board and then over here we've got our little I've tried to make all the beige look classy. So we've got our little chicken ghosts. Can't really work out how these are ghosts though. I think they might go up that way. Little ghoulish ghosts. And then we've got our little got our little monster chicken popcorns. Yum. Oh my god, look how cute this looks. Oh, I love it. So we have got our little feast on the coffee table tonight. We like to like sit down here sometimes, it's just super cozy. Got all the candles lit, got our little pumpkins either side of the TV. So cute. Oh my god, yum. Literally cannot wait to eat this. And we are going to watch this film called His House. It literally came out today. Um, this is the one I saw advertised quite a while ago. I think they've just released it for Halloween. I'm going to have a dinosaur. It's not a dinosaur. What is it? It's a ghost. It's a ghost. It looks like a fucking... No, it's the other way around. It looks like, looks like a diplodocus. Well, that's a ghost. Yeah, they're ghouls. How is that a ghost? It's if a anything, ghost. it's that way, surely. No! Mm. Which part is the ghost? That's its head, and that's its arms. <laughs> oh. mm. the, gold, the chicken ghouls are amazing. Chicken ghouls arms. <laughs> they need spaghetti hoops. Mm, and tiny faces. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was lovely. I just have eaten way too much food. What about the figs? 
because there's a lot of figs left on the board. Figs were unreal. Yeah, yeah. But I can't eat any more figs. I'm figged out. <laughs> I'm on the board now. Legend. Whenever I drink anything, I have to absolutely drown my body in water before I go to bed. Otherwise, I'll wake up and actually just not be in a good place. Well, you know what, like, um, like a hangover is dehydration. So, down water before you go to bed. So what's the whole feeling sick malarkey about then? What do you think happens to your body when you dehydrate it? Right, Doctor. Dr. Dr. Foster. Foster. <laughs> so, we've been literally obsessed with Dr. Foster on Netflix. It's not one of our usual types of um, things, is it? Like, no one's killing people in it, um, <laughs> which is what we normally watch. But it's just like... It's just, what is it, like a drama? Like BBC dramas. It's a drama, yeah. Yeah, then watch Dr. Foster, it's really, really, really good. I need to move away from all this food. <sighs> Jamie, please. How are you still eating? Right on cue. So we have now transported to bed. I have got a little net of chocolate eyeballs and they're like the nicest chocolate ever. I might actually go back to M&S and get some more of these. They're so yummy, aren't they? So our plan is now we are just going to finish watching his house. We usually do this. We watch half a film downstairs and we come to bed to to stop the risk of us falling asleep on the sofa. Because you always feel really groggy when you fall asleep on the sofa, yeah, don't you? Yeah, everybody knows how horrible that is. Like you wake up and you're like, literally you feel like you've just woken where up from I? the dead or something. Like, yeah, it's horrible. So, <laughs> why am I downstairs? <laughs> why, where am I? So we've come up to bed, chocolate eyeballs. You can't have any because you just brush your teeth. I don't want any. You don't want any chocolate eyeballs? You just brush your teeth. I brushed my teeth earlier, like after dinner. Are you going to brush them again? Maybe. Yeah, I'll brush them again after my chocolate eyeballs. We'll have a lovely Halloween, whatever you end up doing. Um, and yeah, I will see you tomorrow at 10am. Double upload this weekend, so there's another one tomorrow. November on Sunday! Uh, crazy. It's Christmas! So this is the last, this is officially the last autumn video of 2020, which is kind of sad. I feel like autumn has just gone so quickly, you but I know, I do really love autumn, but this means... But you equally love winter. I love Christmas. Really, really hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so, so much for watching and I shall see you tomorrow at 10am. Bye. Like and subscribe. <laughs> Night everyone. Happy Halloween and happy 1st of November for tomorrow. Bye! That's a goodbye from me and a goodbye from the legendary Jamie. <laughs>